What up everybody in the house, it's T-Biz here and I want to take a look at Legendary Comic Book Heroes Rarl, as, or, as, uh, 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 or as I like to call him, Rarl Winslow. But anyways, this is a cool two figure set, I like it a lot. I bought it again, had it back in the day, it's going up in value. If you like it, be willing to pay at least over 50 bucks, if not 60 even more, it gets higher and higher. But anyways, um, because you can't find it at the stores. This is the last bit end of T. Uh, I was gonna say T Biz, but Toy Biz figures, and um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool figure. I don't think I appreciated it as much back then, and I still have this figure, but I'm gonna give it to Overlord. But I wanted to buy the set because I'm without Conan, but now I'm with both. So got him again, and somebody's getting the gift out of it. Anyhow, I'm stoked uh, to review this. And I never did reviews back when this originally came out in 2007, so now I do reviews now. And uh, yeah, this guy is cool. He is really cool. Detail is amazing. You can, it's kind of hard to get this helmet on him, but he's got some pretty creepy eyes, pretty creepy face. Just real nice. Um, his, you can see like the kind of uh, silver wash on here to make it kind of look like steel, like armor. His cape is just totally tattered. Looks like dried mud or blood or poo. Or like somebody had diarrhea all over his cape. Cool like rips and tears in his cape and stuff. And uh, yeah. It's very very cool. Real nice detail on his skirt right here. Nice detail on his muscles. Just everything is just really really cool. Got some cool like Lords of the Ring looking armor right there. Just nice uh, metallic wash right there to give it that effect. Pretty cool. He's got a little pouch right here with a little kind of creepy horn slug thing that pops out and it can go right back in. But real neat. And he has a sword right here that can come out if I can get it to. Jeez. But yeah, sword comes in and out. And pretty cool sculpting on the sword too. You can see there's little skulls on the hilt, or on the handle, or the pummel, whatever you want to call it, the handle, whatever. But yeah, pretty cool. Slides right back in. Really cool figure. It's really, really nice. Boots are really cool. Have matte articulation. Got shoulder swivel. And it goes all the way around 360. It's kind of hard to get it to turn around all the way, but you can. And you've got bicep swivel, double elbows. You've got a wrist twist, but no hinge. Same on this side. Wrist twist, a little bit of a hinge right there, but not so much on this arm. Then you've got ab crunch, waist twist. Oh, and his helmet does pop off, so let's take him, check him out with his helmet off. He looks like one of those weird testicle-looking gumballs that you could get, like those weird bumpy grape uh, gumballs that you could get. He kind of looks like a nutsack for his brain. Maybe not mine, but some, like, somebody's creepy nutsack. But anyways, take his helmet off. Once again, really cool detail on these figures and the accessories and stuff. But yeah, he can't do total splits, but he can... Kind of spread him a little bit. He's got a upper thigh swivel all the way around. Double knees. And he's got a calf cut. And he's got a hinge on his ankle, kind of. And he's got an articulated toe. So he's not too bad. He's a pretty cool figure all the way around. I like him a lot. Let's take out his uh, sword. Put in his hand. Yeah, he looks like he's ready for business. Ready to do some evil. Some kind of evil doing. But yeah, really cool figure. I uh, way more appreciate him now than I ever did when I originally had him. But yeah, that helmet's pretty cool. Just the detail's really nice. I see some slash marks right there. Maybe a sword or something or a fight with Conan or somebody. More on the back, but really, really cool. And just the detail on these figures, really nice. I'd like to see somebody do a Conan line. 
do more characters in the comics and stuff like that. That'd be cool. That'd be really nice if anybody out there is listening. It'd be cool. But just super good detail. Just, I don't know. Nice figure all the way around. Really nice. And he's got a creepy head. Who knows if that's like, no, some kind of goop or gop or blood or red jello or cherry jello or whatever. But yeah, very crazy. But anyways, that's a look at Rarl. He's got a weird name. Cool character. Looks evil with his helmet on. And a good enemy for your Conan figure from the legendary comic book Heroes 2-Pack. Conan the Barbarian 2-Pack or 2-Pac. But yeah, good figure. And if you can afford it, get it. Because that's a pretty expensive figure. And if you can't, then I don't know. Well, do without. But anyhow, thanks for watching and whatever. And have a good one. And yeah, go out and play with your toys and have fun. And uh, troll, troll on. Keep trolling.